Ooh. Have that parcel. <laughs> Better open it then. Better. So guys, I have uh, obviously completed the piece there, and these are the bits to go in. Uh, we have the plate here, which just needs to be moved, and obviously the um, the door jam plate as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll mark everything off that I need to cut, make sure everything's in the right place. Now, because um, the plate here for the hinge and the door jam on the original, they were actually connected. So in other words, they were um, probably spot welded together. Um, so what I might do is I might do the same. Um, I'll just basically just do a plug weld because I don't have a spot welder. And I will um, weld the two pieces uh, together and that keeps them in line uh, where they need to be and um, then... I can actually place them correctly. Um, as as you can see, they're slightly slightly off there, um, near enough all right in the bottom, um, for where I marked it uh, for the original piece. Um, so yeah, let's go on to that. Hi guys, right, so, um, door jam plus uh, door hinge plate has to be put on. Uh, plan of action is, um, because this obviously needs to be in the right place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes in the back here. As you see I've marked a few uh, bits. What I'll do is I'll do top and bottom. And then I'll uh, basically tack weld, well there might be plug weld, but I'll, I'll basically slightly just tack them in um, first. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll see how that all fits. If I need to man manoeuvre stuff, bend stuff, whatever needs to be done. But as you can see, you know, things need to be bended down, bent down the bottom, etc. Um, so there is things that need to be done. But um, as long as I can get that in, that can be in the right position. Uh, then we're, you know, halfway there kind of thing. So... Uh, let me grab my um, drill, uh, I'll drill them in, give them a wee weld and then we'll come back and we'll see hopefully the plate's sitting in the right position. Hi guys, uh, yes, we're on to the second day actually, um, I didn't really have time. Um, when I was kind of moving the panels about, things weren't kind of lining up, um, I kind of messed about, made a wee boo-boo, so I fixed that today. Um, and yeah, everything seems to be lining up today just by... You know, take a little bit more time and kind of understanding what you're kind of where the panels are going, making sure everything's squared up um, from the original panels, which is where um, some of the kind of issues were coming about. Where the new panel I put in, because obviously that's flexed um, and need to be pushed in at the bottom, I put the original door uh, hinge plate back in, um, where it was basically marked from the uh, the holes I drilled out from the spot welds I was able to kind of line it up and I noticed that it was off a few mil um, in regards to the, the line up holes um, and that was throwing everything off so today um, I've kind of done a little bit of jiggery pokery um, and I'm ready to get the uh, door hinge panel kind of welded in place uh, once I do that I can put on the door jam and we will a bit further on again so yeah so let's batter in so forgot to put the camera on when I was doing my welding but um, just a few couple of spot, spot welds guys um, as you can see um, I was going to kind of tidy them all up but then I was thinking to myself if this ever needs to be replaced again how are they going to ever find the spot welds for them um, would they need to be ripped you know cut the whole thing out and whatever else they tidy it up or they are Mm, or do I just leave it? You're not gonna, never going to see it anyway. 
you know what I mean? So I think what I'll do is I'll just put I'll just put primer over the top of that and I'll leave them. Hmm. But you can see it's all penetrated all the way through, all the way down. And this is on solid now onto the car. So this is now the first step. Um yeah again I suppose you could probably see where it's spot welded here, but I'm gonna be covering that in um primer. So mm, do I tidy it up or not? So tidy it up a wee bit, guys. Don't know if the camera's straight or not, but tidy it up just a tiny wee bit more. I've left it so I can see exactly where uh, the welds are, just in case any repairs need to be done in the future. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give it a little bit of uh, H primer. I think this is, yeah, H primer, um, and yeah, just to kind of keep it rust free. And that's pretty much it. That's the first bit done. Yeah. Right, guys, got the floor in, the floor in, the door jam and hinge plate, uh, welded it all the way around the back, welded up the top here, um, got a wee bit of work just to do right about here, um, test fitted the door, I, I had a wee bit of a panic because of the kind of gap but I checked the other door on the other side um, and it's the same, um, so obviously once the car goes back together and obviously you've got the A panel and all the rest of it. Um, with hinges and everything should be fine. Um, just a wee quick tidy up um, and then I'll give it a wee spray uh, just to keep obviously the uh, the metal um, rust free because all you know what it's like in this. Um, but pretty much done, done not too bad. Obviously remember I'm a, a novice so I am doing my best. Um, so a lot of tidying up still to do on welds and stuff um, but overall I'm quite happy with it.